it's Miss Lady Lace here on my Glamour channel and today I have for you a new fabulous video on the topic of vintage beauty. Today I'm going to be discussing all things skincare, sharing with you my full skincare routine and hopefully that'll be something that you're interested in seeing. I must say though it is very important to cater your skincare routine to your skin. What I'm doing today may not work perfectly for you so it's definitely worth doing a bit of research and finding some Something that suits yourself. Having a good skincare routine is a fabulous idea as it's going to keep our skin looking fabulous for as long as possible and help prevent any damage to this area. Today I'm going to be talking about both my facial care as well as the care for the rest of my body. We'll get started with the face though and predominantly I use the brand Sukin. They're really fabulous because they're cruelty free, vegan, don't have a lot of harsh chemicals in them and I found them to be super affordable and very easy to access as well here where I live. The first thing I do in the morning is wash my face and for this I use the Signature Foaming Cleanser which is really fabulous. Fabulous. This is to purify, cleanse, and lightly hydrate the skin. In this product, there is chamomile, aloe vera, green tea, and witch hazel, and it's suitable for all skin types. After cleansing, I lightly dry my face by patting it down so I'm not doing any harsh rubbing in that area, creating any damage. And then I will apply my moisturizers. At the moment, I'm really loving the Purely Ageless range. As I'm heading towards my late 20s, I am a little bit more conscious about taking care of my skin. I start with the Reviving Eye Cream, which I apply gently around my eyes. I apply this in a smooth circular motion so it's getting good coverage. So this product's active ingredient is green coffee which helps to reduce dark circles around the eyes and help prevent wrinkles. Next I apply the Rejuvenating Day Cream. I apply this again in a circular motion all over my face and also down my neck and onto my decolletage. I apply this in a circular motion really massaging it in. Next I'll apply sunscreen all over my face and down onto my decolletage as sun damage is one of the biggest things that causes damage to our skin and we also want to protect ourselves against skin cancer. With this on I usually go and make my breakfast at this point just to allow time for that to absorb into my skin before I pop on my makeup. In the evening to remove my makeup I use the makeup eraser which as you can see is very well used here. I have the main side which I use for makeup removal and after I've cleansed I then use this side just to remove any remaining product. As I mentioned I cleanse again in the evening using my foaming cleanser that I used in the morning. Again massaging that really gently into the skin as I really want to remove all the sweat, grime and makeup that I've worn that day. With the cleanser removed with water I then pat gently down the skin and I apply very similar products in the evening. I use the same reviving eye cream which I gently massage around my eyes. I then apply the restorative eye cream which is my nightly routine. Massaging again to my face, neck and decolletage. Once a week I like to do an aloe vera mask and I have made a video regarding this but essentially I just take aloe vera and I gently massage that into my face wait 15 minutes for it to dry and then wash off and I found this to have many beautiful benefits to doing on a regular basis. If I have any pimples pop up which definitely happens with different hormonal cycles and wearing a lot of makeup all the time. I will use this spot banishing gel which is super effective from Sukin. This contains salsaric acid as well as a bunch of other really great active ingredients and sometimes within like half an hour I can see the results of the reduction of that pimple which is really fabulous. Using salsaric acid is something that I've learned from lots of different dermatologists and YouTube channels run by dermatologists and doctors so it's been really effective to find this product and it works really well for me. When it comes to facial skincare, I would definitely recommend having a good consistent regime. If you do something every day, twice a day, you're really going to see results, including things like sunscreen and always taking off your makeup every day, no matter if you're drunk as a skunk or just so tired, this is really important to do on a regular basis. Next we're going to chat about skin on the rest of my body and how I take care of that. 
I very much enjoy the process of shaving. I do it every other day. I just love that smooth finish on my legs. So I guess it's a really important part of my process. But also I like to moisturize really thoroughly. I use the Sukin Soothing Body Lotion, which is really effective for me. I do want to find more products to help keep my skin looking better for longer, but I love this one because it's fragrance free, it's simple, and it's really great for sensitive skin. Once a week, I also like to exfoliate using these fabulous little exfoliating gloves here. It's just such a decadent process of removing all that icky dead skin and then moisturizing deeply after. When moisturizing all of my body, I really like to take time to massage it in as that circulation is helping build the collagen and just taking time for that self-care in my body really brings me so much joy. I would definitely say that I have a very thorough skincare routine. Looking good and feeling good are really important to me, so they're definitely something I make time for. I feel like they also bring me a lot of joy. Taking time to take care of myself is such a big aspect of making myself feel happy. I'd love to know in the comments below, do you have a skincare routine? Do you have any brands that you'd recommend personally? Anything you'd love to share, I'm sure we'd all love to discuss it in the comments below. I do truly hope you've enjoyed today's video and maybe found it a little bit useful or interesting to watch. If there's any videos you'd love to see, do let me know in the comments below. If you'd like early access to my YouTube videos, exclusive content, as well as to help the creation of my videos here on YouTube, I do have my Glamour community on Patreon. I'd like to thank all my patrons, but especially my VIP Glamour patrons, which I will list here. And as always, to never miss out on my vintage fun, be sure to hit the subscribe button below, turn on those bell notifications, and I will be seeing you all real soon.